Hello there, it's Roman from Natively, and in this video we will set up push notifications for our application. To do that, navigate into the feature section, notifications, and enable it. You need to provide one signal app ID and permission description if you're using IRS. Natively uses one signal service uh, to provide the push notification feature. So first of all, you need to create your one signal account and after that, create a new app. Enter your app name and select the first platform that you want to set up. You will need to generate the P12 certificate. For this purpose, you need to go to the, your Apple developer account, certificates, and create a new certificate. Select here Apple Push Notification Service as Sales and Box and Production. Select the bundle ID of your app. On this step, you need to upload a certificate signing request. How to do that, uh, you can read in our documentation on Generate iOS Push Certificate page. I have a two option. Uh, you can do it on macOS or if you have Windows or Linux, you need to install uh, the third party uh, software named Keychain Explorer. I have a macOS, so I will do that uh, through Keychain SS. Opening the Keychain SS, go into Certificate Assistant, request a certificate from Certificate Authority. Here you can enter your email address, request is saved to disk, click continue and save it. After you save the certificate, you need to upload it uh, to your Apple account and click continue. After that, uh, you need to download Apple Push certificate save it somewhere and open this file. After you open the certificate, it will be added to your keychain. Uh, you can find it by bundle identifier. You need to click export Apple push service and save the certificate somewhere. You need to provide the password Then navigate back to one signal. So here you need to upload your P12 certificate file that we have just saved. And also uh, provide the certificate password. Click save and continue. Select native iOS as target SDK. On the next step, uh, you need to copy your app ID, get back to natively and insert it here. Permission description is very important field uh, for iOS apps. In this section, you need to describe uh, how your app will use a notification permissions. Apple can reject you because of this text, so we're recommending to Google and find some examples of how it should look like. For now, I will use just test string, but I do not recommend to submit it in such a way. So now our, our notification setup for Android and iOS, but we need to enable Android SDK in one signal. You need to go to the settings, find native app platforms, Android, select edit. And here you need to provide Firebase, Firebase server key and Firebase sender ID. So you can do it from your Firebase console. If you don't have Firebase app, you can just create it. After your app was successfully created, you need to open settings, project settings, and then go to cloud messaging. 
In cloud messaging, you need to set up cloud messaging API. Click on the three dots, manage API in Google Cloud Console, and you will be redirected to Google Cloud Console project. You need to enable cloud messaging. And then go back to your Firebase account. Reload this page. As you can see, it generates uh, to us server key and sender ID. You just need to copy it and go back to one signal and paste it. Same for sender ID. Click save and continue. On this step, you need to select uh, target SDK uh, and Android native. And we are done. So now we have two active application in our OneSignal account, one for iOS and one for Android. After that, we can navigate back to natively. So on, on this step, you have added uh, and set up your OneSignal account and turn on a push notification for your app. And you can switch to distribution and create a new build.